All right, I'm gonna start standing just to get a little warmer and get a little bit more in my body this morning. Let's see. Feet land at about hip distance apart in parallel. So I uh, feel like I slept the best I've slept in a while last night. So I'm still like, whoa just kind of waking up. <laughs> so allowing yourself to just get present, get awake, notice the feet, parallel hip distance, give some weight to the big toe, the pinky toe, the center of the heel, and just let your arms dangle by your side. Stand tall in your spine, wide in your collarbone. Notice the breath. And then inhale the shoulders up by the ears. And exhale the shoulders away from the ears. Again, inhale, shoulders come up. Exhale, shoulders drop. One more. And then just start to lean to one side, letting one elbow bend a little bit and draw up the side of the body. Let the fingertips slide up and down. This to me is a nice way to get focused on sensation in your body. Maybe you feel a little stretch down your side body. Maybe you feel the fingertips. Maybe you feel where the fingertips are meeting the leg. So just finding that little bit of lean, drawing up and down with the arms, getting a little motion in the spine and then settling back to the center. Looking down towards your feet, and then looking up to the ceiling, and down again between the feet, and up to the ceiling, and center, and then looking over the right shoulder, and over the left. Just checking in with the neck this morning, noticing. And then taking the right ear to the right shoulder, left ear to the left shoulder. Just simple movement to check in and get centered. And then bringing the head center. Reach the arms straight out in front of you. And just start to reach through the arms and then root through the shoulders. So I'll turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better. So you're just closing off the chest and then rooting back, opening the chest. Really seeing how that upper arm bone fits into the shoulder joint. And then starting to alternate one arm up and one arm down, reaching through the fingers, energizing, lifting, lengthening, finding all that energy there adding a little bit of sinking the breath up with the movement. And then both arms reach up on an inhale, and open on an exhale. Inhale up, open, exhale. And then draw the chin to the chest, soften the knees, and start to roll down. One vertebra at a time, taking your time, bending those knees, releasing the weight of the head forward, allowing your hands to spill onto your mat, breathing and releasing. Soften the neck, fully release the weight of your head forward. Check in with the feet. Make sure you've got weight in the heels and the toes. And then hug the belly button in and roll it back up. Taking your time, grounding down through the feet, lengthening the legs, rolling the shoulders down the back, standing tall in the body. Full breath. Good. All right, we'll make 
our way to the mat. I'm just going to straighten mine out a little bit. Good. And then uh, I use the pillow. It helps uh, give me just a little bit more range in my spine. It's up to you if you use that. All right. So we'll find uh, the mat. The pillow's at the mid-back, or you're laying down nice and long on your mat. Allow your pelvis to root down the back of your head, the shoulders to open. Full breath, reach the arms up and back. Let the ribs rise. Exhale here. Another breath here. Exhale, hug the belly button in. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling, and exhale, round yourself up, off the shoulder blades, into that abdominal curl, reaching through the fingers, hugging the belly button into the spine. Really reach the energy forward like you're going to come all the way up, and then rest it back down, inhale. Exhale, lift the head, curling up. Grab onto those thighs, pull yourself up another inch or two, then reach through the fingers, and exhale, rest. One more, inhale, exhale, curl, grab the thighs, pull, scoop, breathe, pull the belly button in, reach through the fingers, and rest. Full breath. Exhale those arms by your sides, open the collarbone, inhale the arms up again, and exhale lift the head, curling up there, reaching through the fingers, take the right leg to tabletop, reach energy through the fingers and open the chest, full breath here, come up another inch, as you rest your head, place the foot down, Keep the feet down, exhale, curl right back up. Scoop, find those deep abdominals. Float that left leg to tabletop. Hug the belly button in, get up there another inch. As the foot goes down, rest the head, full breath. Exhale, curling up again. Pull yourself up another inch, find those deep abdominals. Right leg to table. Left leg to meet it, squeeze the feet together, hug the belly button in, reach through the fingers, breathe, hug in, curl up another inch, breathe, nice, keep the legs right there, rest the head, full breath, exhale, curling up again. Breathing and scooping, belly button in. Reach through the fingers, the left foot goes down to the mat, the right foot goes down to the mat. And rest, full breath, good. So you can take your legs to tabletop or keep the feet down for the hundred, full breath in. Exhale, lift the head, curling up, reach through the fingers and pump the arms. Inhale. Exhale. In. 20. 30. 40. 50. Right leg to table. 60. Swap the legs. In. Both legs to table. In. Hug the knees. Slide the legs long to the mat. Reach the arms to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale to roll it up. Grabbing the thighs if you need to. Reach for the toes. Tuck the tail. Roll it down. Breathe, scoop. Take your time. Inhale, exhale. Moving through the center of your spine. Rolling down again. Breathing. Energy through the fingers. Inhale, exhale. Scoop that belly. 
belly button in as you reach forward. Roll it down. Three more. Scoop. Reach. Keep breathing. Root those shoulders. Two more. Center of the spine. One more. Let's stay up here. Breathe. Reach for the toes. Soften the neck. Great. All right, so I'm going to move my pillow out of the way. Just putting it to the side. And then tucking the tailbone and rolling it back down. Arms go long by the sides. So we're taking the rollover this morning. If this feels like it's too much or just not doable, you can go to shoulder bridge, so that's knees bent, feet flat, hip distance, and you peel the pelvis up, and roll the pelvis down. So that would be in lieu of shoulder bridge, or sorry, in lieu of a rollover. Okay, so if you feel like rollover is not good for your body, then do shoulder bridge. Rollover, we take legs to the ceiling, take a full inhale, don't be afraid to use those arms into the mat. Lower the legs six inches. Exhale, scoop the legs up and over. They go to parallel with the floor. And open the legs hip distance, flex the feet, and roll down super slow. Take your time. Hug your belly button into control, and then close the legs and come up and over again. Breathe. Open hip distance, flex the feet, roll down, breathe. Again, close, up and over. Open and flex, rolling down. You got one more, up and over. Open and flex, rolling down. Legs are up to the ceiling, so if you're in shoulder bridge, Come to this place, both legs up, full breath, float the left leg down to the mat. Energy through the arms, take the leg to the left, cross, down around, lift, cross, down around, lift, breathe. Hug the belly button in, open the throat, energize the body. Reverse, open, down, cross, lift. Try to root those shoulders back. Feel a little puff up in the sternum. Two more. Lift. One more. Lift. Bring that left leg up to meet your right leg. Then the right leg goes to the mat. Take the leg across. Down around. Lift. Cross. Down around. Lift. Breathe. You're trying to stabilize the pelvis. As you mobilize that leg, lift, reverse, open, down, cross, lift, breathe, hug the belly button in, three more, lift, two, lift, one, and lift. Take that leg all the way down to the mat. Hug both knees into your chest, full breath, rock yourself up to seated for rolling like a ball, so getting a little bit more movement in the spine. You can grab the back of the thighs, you can even grab the ankles here, lift the feet, find your balance, scoop the belly button in, use that for support. Inhale, roll back, exhale, roll up. Stability at the top, inhale back, exhale up. Let yourself get into it, and then take away some of the momentum. Use those abdominals to help stabilize and support. Three more. Use the breath. One more. All the way up. Good. So let's 
right hand to the left ankle and the left hand to the left knee. So right hand, left ankle, left hand, left knee. And then you push and just take a little twist. And for me, I feel this at my waistline, kind of at my QL a little bit there. And then we go the other way, so grabbing the other ankle and press. Just opening up in your sides a little more. And then taking the nose to the toes, breathe. Releasing the neck. And then rounding yourself up. Good. Okay, so we're gonna grab the little cans and use them for the series of five, all right? So we come down to the mat and have those cans in your hands, palms facing in towards each other. Go ahead and root the shoulders back. The legs lift to tabletop, the head lifts up. Float those arms down, reach your cans like you're gonna take them across the room there. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg. One, switch, one, switch. Two, two, breathe. Three, get up a little higher. Three, four, four. Keep the legs going, the arms reach out. Reach, reach, root those shoulders. Right, left knee in, right, left. Breathe, up a little higher. One more set, right into the second in your series of five. The knees come in, the arms go out, the legs go out. Exhale, pull it in. Exhale, pull it in. Exhale. Breathe. Three more. Two more. One more. Rest. The head goes down. Breathe. You're going to keep your hands on the floor here. And just take the heel of your hand, palm of your hand, and press down into those cans. You're just creating a little action for the back line of the arm. Lift the head. Curl up. Make little adjustments as you need to. Right leg up. Left leg 45 degrees, scissor the legs. Left, right, left, right, left. Breathe, press down into those cans. Energize the arms. Breathe, three more, two more, one more. Rest, breathe. You're gonna pick your cans back up in your hands. Lift the head. Legs go to the ceiling. Lower the legs, deep inhale. Lift the legs, exhale. Belly button in, exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale up one more. Rest. Put one of the cans away. One of them reaches to the ceiling. Root those shoulders back. You've got the can in both hands. Curl up. Left knee stays in. Right leg goes out. Reach that can up and over towards that left side. Then we go up and over. Switch the legs to the right side. And switch to the left. And switch to the right. And up and over left. Right. And left. And right. Two more sets. And reach. One more set. And reach. And rest. Put that hand down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Breathe. And then come on up to seated. 
So this is a spine stretch forward, and we're going to do this with the saw today. So I'm going to do it facing you because it sometimes helps to just have that visual there. So the feet are a little wider than your mat, all right? The distance, the width of your mat, if you were still facing that way. And the arms reach straight out in front of you. So you root the shoulders back and sit nice and tall through the spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, dive the nose to the belly button. As you come up, widen the arms and twist to your right. And then exhale, round and reach. As you come up, sweep that back arm forward. Spine stretch forward. Scoop, lift the abdominals, breathe. As you come up, widen the arms, twist left, exhale, round and reach. Inhale up, sweep that back arm forward, dive. Widen the arms right, exhale, round and reach. Sweep the arm forward, dive. Widen the arms left, exhale round and reach. And we'll end with a spine stretch forward. Flex the feet, reach for the toes, take the stretch, breathe. Good. Okay. So we're going to take the hands with us and we're going to flip over and find a position where we've got the cans under the hands and the knees under the hips here. So the cans are under the shoulders, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. All right, hug the belly button in. Breathe, and you're going to bend that right elbow and pull it up, and then take it down. And pull it up, and take it down. So you're just finding how to root the shoulder. Not a whole lot of effort here. Just finding that action. Pull it up and hold. From here, you kick the arm back. Five. And four. Breathe, three, hug the abdominals in, two, root the shoulders, back and hold. The arm reaches to the T, and then back. So you're rotating the palm down towards the floor, and then in towards the body. Three more, breathe, two more, breathe. One more, hold it out there at that T position, pulse it up, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it right underneath you. So we go to the other side, hug the belly button in, root those shoulders, bend that left elbow, pull it up, five, keep the shoulders square, four, open the chest, three, and two, one more, pull it up and hold, root those shoulders, kick that arm back, five, and four, hug the belly button in, three, and two, back and hold, it swings out to the T and pulls back, use your abdominals, at the T the palm is down, Pull it in, squeeze the armpit, palm is in. Three more. Two more. One more. Hold it here, pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. You sit the hips to the heels. Round forward, release. Full breath. Great. All right, put those cans right at the 
end of your mat there. And then we'll lay on your chest. And we want to have the wrists maybe a little bit at the forearms on those cans. All right? The feet are hip distance apart. Rest your head down. Take a breath. Push the cans away from you and let the shoulders rise up by the ears. And then exhale, shoulders away from the ears. The arms stay straight. Start to lift the head, lift the chest, pulling those cans towards you. They almost get to your hands. And then you slide it back out. So always make little adjustments if you need to, you guys. Full breath. Shoulders rise. Shoulders drop. Keep gliding the shoulder blades down the back. Hug the belly button in to support your low back. Lift up, up, up. Breathe and lower down. Three more. Exhale, shoulders drop. Lift the chest. Breathe, coming up, 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 up. And reach it away. We add to it for the last two. Exhale, shoulder blades. Float it up. Get up there and hold. Look over your right shoulder. Look down around to the left. Look center. Lower down. Last one. Exhale, shoulders down the back. Come up, up, up. Breathe, lift the chest, look over the left shoulder, down around to the right, center, and lower down, and relax, good, sit the hips to the heels, round the spine the other way, breathe, soften. Great. Okay, we're going to come out forehead on the mat. We're going to take the cans in the hands. So the arms go out to a T position. Cans are in your hands. Forehead is on the mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Take a full breath here. Float the forehead above the mat. So you want to feel like your neck is in line with your spine. Another full breath, just hover the feet above the mat. It's not the low back efforting. You want to feel the glutes hugging in, the abdominals working. Then lift those cans off the floor. Hold here. Try to narrow the shoulder blades for three, two, one, and soften down. Full breath. Narrow the shoulder blades to start. Hover the forehead, the feet, and the hands come up, lifting those cans. You can always put the cans down. Breathe, hold, three, two, one, rest. Just one more, full breath. Forehead lifts. Shoulders root, feet lift, hands lift, breathe, hold here, lift those hands up another inch, breathe, 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 and release it down. Good. Leave your cans there, sit the hips to the heels, round the spine, and soften. Full breath. Great. All right, so let's come to crisscross. We'll grab those cans and we'll do a seated arm series here. So finding first your sits bones, noticing the length of your spine, checking in there. So we're creating heat in the body. Just notice if you feel a little more heat in one place and especially if that comes with pain. Okay, so knowing the difference between good working discomfort, feel the burn, and then that sort of edge of, I don't know if this is good for my body. So listening to that, knowing that any movement practice 
is an opportunity for listening to your body. Okay, so let's grab those cans here and we'll take them out wide. And you want to feel, instead of the elbows dropping, feel the elbows lifted, kind of like you've got rounded arms here. And you're going to hug a tree the size of the room in front of you. Exhale, hug a tree. Inhale, open. Root those shoulders. Exhale, hug. Inhale, open. Elbows stay lifted. Exhale, hug. Abdominals are connected to support your back. Check in, make sure you're on those sits bones. You're breathing. Your navel is into your spine. You're feeling that full width of the chest, the full length of the collarbone. Two more. And open. One more and open. Let those arms rest. So I'm just going to switch my leg so the other leg is on top. And then take those cans again. And this time they're out wide, but the palms are up towards the ceiling. And then from here, bend the elbows, make 90 degrees. Then we close the cans together, open it back up, and lengthen out long. Pull it up and close. And you might be able to move faster, move quicker, do more, but it's not so much about how many you do, it's about your form. So really noticing how the upper arm bone fits into the shoulder joint and trying to keep that connection as you move here. Breathe, four more. Three more. Use your breath, get tall in your spine. Two more. One more. And lengthen. The arms come down, take a breath. Hands go to the knees, roll those shoulders back. Roll them forward. Breathe, good. Okay, taking those cans again, we're gonna take them right by the shoulders here with the palms facing forward. The elbows are really dropped and you're squeezing your armpits together. Open your chest, take an inhale. Exhale, press. Arms go up, shoulders drop. So instead of letting the shoulders shrug up by the ears, let the shoulders drop as the arms come up. So we're using less in those traps. Breathe, press, good, press, and reach, and press, four more, and three, two more, one more, rest. Good. Okay, so we're going to come up onto the knees for the next one. If you already know that being on the knees doesn't feel great for you, you can always do this standing, or you could do it seated in crisscross, or the legs out in front of you, whatever feels okay for you. And you would leave out the lift and lower of the body. You'll know once we start going here. So let's uh, have the knees and the feet, the knees apart, sorry, the feet together, the knees apart, the feet together, and you're going to have those cans out in front of you here, just lifted above the legs. So let's do uh, just the arms first. So they're going to come circles, little circles to come up, and little circles to go down. Four, three, two, one. Up for five. Four, three, two, one, reverse, five, four, three, two, one. So we talked about the upper arm bone and how it roots into the shoulder joint. You want to feel the head of that upper arm bone really rotating in the shoulder here, okay? So we'll do those arms, and as we're doing that, we're going to lift the hips off the heels and then 
then lower the hips down. And as you come up, you squeeze your glutes, fully extend at the front of the hip, and then sit it back down. Okay? So it takes five circles to go up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse five. Four, three, two, one. Up for five. Four, three, two, one. Down for five. Four, three, two, one. Up for five. Four, three, two, one. Down for five. Three, two, one. Up for five. Three, two, one. Down for five. Four, three, two, one. Good. So we change the arms. The arms reach straight out in front of you. As you come up with the hips, the elbows bend and pull back. Pull, squeeze the glutes, shoulders are dropped, reach it out, sit back down. Pull it up and reach. Squeeze the glutes, use resistance. Coming up and lengthen. Four more. And three. And two. And one. And take a seat. Good. All right. Nice, you guys. So we're going to put those cans to the side for a second. And we'll come back to your mat. Keep your cans handy because we're going to use them for this next exercise. This is shoulder bridge. All right. So laying down long to your mat, grab your cans, put them in your hands, and then put them at the front of your pelvis. So right in that hip crease there. The feet are hip distance apart, so are the knees nice and parallel. Chest is open, elbows are wide. Squeeze the glutes to tuck the tailbone. So you're really lengthening your low back into the mat. Then squeeze the glutes to peel the pelvis up, up into your shoulder bridge. Your neck is long, your chin is away from your chest. You're squeezing your glutes tight. Keep your glutes driving. Reach the cans up to the ceiling. Breathe, keep your shoulders rooted. The arms reach back and up and down and up and back weight in the heels and the toes up and down squeeze those glutes keep the pelvis up back and up just one more down and up elbows go wide cans go to the front of the hips roll the spine down breathe the tail goes down you peel it up again squeeze the glutes Tuck, roll it up. Breathe, all 10 toes on your mat. Squeeze your glutes, reach those cans up to the ceiling again. Root your shoulders, keep your shoulders rooted. Open the arms, don't let them touch the floor, just above the floor, and then bring them together. Open and close, squeeze your glutes tight, they're the driver. And squeeze, two more. And reach, one more, and squeeze. Cans go to the front of the hips. Roll down, center of the spine, tail meets the mat. Full breath. Squeeze the glutes, and peel up. We get to channel the inner Suzanne Summers here. <laughs> and we lower the pelvis three inches. And then lift it right back up. Lower three inches. Lift it right back up. Breathe. And lift. All about your glutes here. Squeeze. Lower. And lift. Three more. Two more. One more. Lift and hold. And roll it down. Breathe. Put those cans by your sides. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a full breath. 
five here and just really get the abdominals again. You can always rest your head if you need to. We're going to try to link these together here. So that means I won't call head down in between each in the series. But if you want to put your head down, go for it. Okay? Full breath. Lift the head. Right hand, right ankle. Left hand, right knee. Left leg extends. One, switch. One, switch. Two, two, three, three, three. Hug in. Four, five. Open the elbows. Six, open the chest. Seven, hug the belly button in. Eight, nine, and ten. Both knees come in. Head stays up. Inhale, arms and legs out. Open the arms. Exhale in. Reach. Move with your breath. Three more. Two. One. Grab the right ankle. Send it up. Left leg out. Two pulls. Right, right. Kick. Left, left. Kick. Right, right. Left, left. Breathe. Right, right. Left, left. Get strong in those abdominals. Pull your belly button in. Lift that head super high. Stabilize your pelvis. Left, left. Right, right. Left, left. One more set. Rest. Legs go to the ceiling. I'm going to use my hands at the back of my thighs. Just as a little extra resistance. Lower. And lift. Lower. So you're using the arms here to create resistance. So as you lower the legs, it's like your arms are trying to not let your legs lower. And then as you lift, it's like your arms are trying to keep you from lifting. Two more. One more. Crisscross. Legs to table. Hands behind the head. Left elbow to your right knee. Left leg 45 degrees. One. One. Two. Two. Don't move your pelvis. Three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more sets. Ten. Rest. You made it. Rock yourself up to a seated position. And flip over to your hands and knees. So, this is a good time to take a little cat cow, rounding and arching through your spine. legs long in front of you, heels and toes together, so insides of the feet together, 
and then we'll find the hands behind you. So it's up to you, fingers can face forward, that feels okay on the shoulders, fingers can face out, you can